Stampers. I'm Tammy from stampwithtammy.com and I'm pretty excited. Today is a big day. It is the launch of three new Celebration products from Stampin' Up. Celebration is Stampin' Up's biggest time of the year and for every $50 order you place in my online store you get a free stamp set or free designer paper or now free glitter washi tape. It ends March 31st, so it is a limited time only, but it's really exciting. I got together with a group of friends of mine from all over the world, and we decided to do a celebration project blog hop. So today we're all posting different projects from celebration, and this one's mine. It incorporates the wildflower stamp set and one of the brand new stamp sets that says, Hi, that is all. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It is so fun. So I'm going to show you how to make this card and then after this video you're going to want to pop over to my blog so you can check out all the other celebration products from all over the world. It's very exciting. And you can get there simply by going to this URL or clicking in the link in the YouTube description below. If you're on YouTube you can click right on this video. Alright, you want to see how to make this awesome card? Let's get started. Here's our original card. There are two stamp sets here from the 2016 Celebration catalog. Flowering Fields, which was in the original catalog, and Party Pants, which just came out today. There's actually three products that just came out today. These are the three cool products. Very fun. And they're just here until March 31st. So not a lot of time, but you can earn these free with a $50 order in my online store. I used the fry box die for this card. A little bit of outside the box fun. You might remember when we used it to make these Pilgrim Thanksgiving boxes. You can catch this video on my YouTube channel. It's a pretty versatile die and it's pretty fun. So we'll start with that. You can get more information on this card and get all of the products that I'm using today in my online store and a free downloadable PDF simply by going to this URL or clicking in the link in the YouTube description below. Just like to make it easy for you to find all the information you need. Measurements are there too. For the fry box, we are using some fun paper. This is called corrugated paper. Stampin' Up! puts this out. It comes in white and it comes in craft, which is which we also call crumb cake, which I'll be using. I've just got a three by six slice here. Now the fry box die is made to fold up to actually make the fry box, but I'm actually only using the front for this card. So we're just gonna cover up that front panel. I'm going to sandwich that between two cutting pads and place it on the Big Shot die cut machine and crank it through. And that's going to cut out our shape. I'm lining up this little tab with the half inch mark of the paper cutter. And we're going to slice off that bottom. Then you can fold in the edges. When you fold it under you can see this tab so take your scissors and at an angle cut that tab off so when you fold it in it doesn't show on both sides. You can leave the rest of the tabs because that's what's going to hold this to the cardstock. And also with your scissors I did a little slice up that score line so that we can fit our linen thread around it after. Not all the way up just about maybe a third of the way up. The next step I want to line up the die and I want to mark it to make it easy to stamp so that it, it fits perfectly in the shape. So this is where I want to place it when I'm done. I'm going to pull it down maybe a half an inch and make a mark. It's not going to show in the end because I'm going to put this over it, but this gives us a guide to stamp with. Either stays on jet black ink or the Stampin' Up! archival black for this step. I stamped these flowers as high up on the card as I could get them and I kind of crisscrossed a little bit with the two in the center. And then these two little branches on the end. And I've got some Hello Honey cardstock here. Now actually all of the cardstock that we're using today is actually retiring with this annual catalog in the spring, the Blackberry Bliss, the Mellow Moss, and the Hello Honey. So I just put out a video last week on what you need to know about the retiring in colors. And I will link that on this projects page in case you missed it, which colors are going, when they're going, and <laughs> why you might want to stock up on them now. Just stamping the new height. That is all stamp. <laughs> I love that stamp. Seriously love it. I think that is so fun. I couldn't wait to use it. It's taking the postage stamp punch from Stampin' Up! and just lining that up on the inside and punching it out. I'm taking some Hello Honey ink and just sponging the edges. 
just to give that a little pop when we put it on our card. Then I'm taking a little soft suede while, we've, while we're sponging and I went around the edges of the fry box. Originally I did that with the Hello Honey as well, but I think I like the brown even better. It really adds some depth. Okay, next we're gonna do a little coloring. I've got some scrap paper here and a Stampin' Up blender pen. I'm just wiping off any excess color that I didn't wipe off the last time I used the blender pen. The beautiful thing about these is you just use the same one and just wipe off the color in between. It's almost like a marker, but you can use it with the ink pads or ink pad refills. We're gonna use it with both today, the ink pad and, the, and a refill. First, I'll show you how to do it with the ink pad. We're just gonna squeeze the center and that is going to pull some ink in the lid. And then we're just gonna lift that up with the blender pen and color with it. So I'm getting all the leaves with that and then I'm gonna wipe off that color and do the same thing with the Hello Honey. Just lift and color these little flowers on the branches. So I can't find my Blackberry Bliss. <laughs> I think I have it packed with another project. <laughs> Anyways, um, I just took the ink pad refill for it and just put it in a lid to like a, a Brad container or a Pringles container, just dropped a couple of drops in there. And we're gonna do the exact same thing with that. Um, this makes the color very, very concentrated. So I'm actually gonna wipe a little bit off before I get started. And we're gonna color in these these petals. And here's the finished product. And so you see, I started with a really concentrated color and I just worked my way up so it gradually got lighter and it just is so, so pretty. And that's just like a very cool effect. Okay, let's put it together. I'm taking some of Stampin' Up's linen thread and I'm gonna, gonna wrap that around our fry box front three times. So now I'm gonna become our flower pot slash vase. See, I told you it was versatile. And we're just gonna tie that in a bow. And we'll use some tear and tape adhesive to stick this on. I think with the corrugated little bumps in this paper, the stronger tape is necessary. You just rip and put it down and then peel off the adhesive backing. And then fold those under. We'll place that down. And then I'm just using snail adhesive. Probably you should use the tear and tape to stick this down too, but I'm just using snail. So I just stick that down where you can read it. Then I just attached it with the mossy meadow border with some snail adhesive. Again, the dimensions are on my blog. And then I'm gonna attach this to the card base with Stampin' Dimensionals. And that just gives it that extra pop. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> and this added 3D element with the fry box is just so fun. Be sure to visit my blog for the entire celebration hop from, it's an international hop from all over the world. And be sure to sign up for my newsletter while you're there because I give out free bonus card tutorials every Tuesday. Thanks for joining me today.